Hi everyone, it's Greg here with another Vim screencast. And today I want to talk about distraction-free writing environments in Vim. Um, so the idea of these is, you know, you enter a, a new mode where all of the Chrome gets stripped away and you can just focus on the document that you're working on. Um, so things like status line, line numbers, visible splits, tabs, they all go away. Um, potentially some syntax features get turned off um, and you can just focus on the thing that you're working on. Now, I wouldn't use this to edit code because I do like metadata, things like line numbers and fold markers and things like that to be visible. And I like to have often multiple things visible on the screen at the same time in splits. Uh, but for doing something like editing a blog post, uh, this is a great focused interface to do that in. Um, now, I've been doing this for a long time now. I'm using a plugin called Goyo, uh, which is by June Gunn, who is an author of a number of popular plugins. Now, Goyo hasn't been touched for a long time. That's not to say that it's abandoned where. Um, it hasn't been touched because it's basically perfect. Like it just works just fine and there's no reason to keep messing with it. Um, but it is quite old now. Um, and then there's zenmode.nvim, which I heard about. I thought I might give this a try because it's much newer and newer doesn't necessarily mean that something's better. But in the case of zenmode, um, since Goya was written, a number of new APIs have become available in both Vim and nvim that make implementing this kind of interface like way simpler. And so I thought, well, uh, the implementation might be more robust because it is so much simpler. Um, so, uh, so let's specifically talk about how this is implemented um, in Goyo, and then we'll compare that to how it's implemented in Zen mode. So basically, if you want to put something in the middle of a screen like that um, using old school Vim APIs, you have to create splits. So I'm going to create a couple of splits here um, in the middle, in the middle window. Basically, all of these windows around the edges, I'm going to uh, get rid of the contents, make them empty buffers. And what you have is the document in the middle uh, where I want it. Um, and if I adjust the splits, you can see uh, that this is what Goyo is doing behind the scenes. It'll turn off a bunch of settings so that you can't see the splits, so you can't see the status line. Um, and then all that will be left is this little rectangle in the middle. But obviously that is wreaking havoc with whatever splits I might've had previously in the editor. And so to restore everything when you close Goyo mode, like obviously the, a lot of bookkeeping has to be done and it is, it's like a huge hack, obviously. Um, in comparison, uh, if we look at what uh, Zen mode is doing, and because it's able to use newer APIs, it can use floating windows to do most of the work here. So uh, as I understand it, uh, the background is basically one big floating window that's covering the entire editing area. So that's covering whatever splits might have been present before I invoke the mode. Um, and then there's another floating window on top of that, uh, which is positioned in the middle here where the document is being edited. So that's just like a way simpler architecture. And then when you want to clean up afterwards and exit the mode, like it's a simple matter of blowing away the floating windows and voila, there you are. Um, so if I was to recommend a plugin to someone who's just uh, starting using NeoVim now, I'd say use Zen mode because it is, it is simpler. Um, but if you've got Goyo and it's working fine for you, then that's, that's also fine to keep working with it. Um, if we compare the code a little bit, what am I doing here? I forget which mode I'm in. Um, so most of the code is probably, I haven't actually looked in this file, we've got barely nothing in the, um, the main plugin directory, um, but it's about, yeah, 450 lines of Vim script, which as we know, is not a real programming language. So this is a, well, this is a well made plugin, but like the implementation must have been a pain to make. Um, if you compare it to uh, Zen mode, uh, this is, I think probably the most interesting file that I looked in was view. This is the, the file which is responsible for managing the, um, the floating windows and stuff. Lua is a real programming language. Um, and so this is just really clearly architected, um, split into modules. It's really easy to find your way around and understand what's going on. Um, and you know, it's just, it feels like a real programming environment. It feels modern. So um, I, I like this design. Um, in terms of actual behavior though, like because these writing environments are all about minimalism, once you've stripped everything away, like you, you don't even know which plugin you're using because by definition, it's supposed to be invisible to you. It's supposed to kind of like recede into the background. Um, now I had been hopeful, I had been hopeful that uh, moving to the newer architecture would enable me to get rid of a lot of my settings and my custom overrides and stuff, but that, that wasn't actually the case. So if we, if we look at the commit where I um, where I switched from Goyo to nvim, uh, zenmode.nvim, you'll see that like it basically didn't enable me to delete anything. So, you know, no simplification on that side. Um, so basically uh, this green text, this is the text I added in the diff, Basically, I, I ended up bringing across a lot of the custom overrides 
that I had with Goyo to make this work just how I want. So basically I, I turn off all of my auto commands because I have all these weird auto commands that do things like focus the current pane. They just get in the way. So I just blow them all away. Um, and then I have this custom code here so that when you close in mode, um, if it's the last buffer, it'll actually quit Vim. Um, and I've also got just a couple of overrides when the thing's first open and some, some settings. So that's basically still a bunch of boilerplate to make this thing work exactly how I like. Um, and if we look at what I deleted, well, actually, this is not, yeah, actually, I, I'm not actually sure why. I, oh, yeah, because I moved it from one file to another. Yeah, um, we can ignore that, that bit. But yeah, all this Goyo stuff, um, basically, it's almost identical to what I had done for, uh, for, for Zen mode. So, yeah, no real saving there, no real simplification. But I kind of like the fact that um, I'm using something that's built on a more modern uh, um, architecture now. So that's, that's today's screencast on distraction-free editing. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.